Hello, in this video, I'll talk about protein delivery to lysosome. So the proteins are folded in the ER, sorted in the Golgi bodies, and then they are distributed to several locations inside the cell. Maybe some are secreted out, or some are secreted to specific, some are delivered to specific organelles. As an example of the second, we'll look at or we would track a path of a protein which is going to be delivered to the lysosome. And we know lysosome are organelles which has many hydrolytic enzymes. So we'll classically look at the path of a hydrolase enzyme, how it is selectively delivered to the lysosome. Now Golgi is just like a warehouse of a cell. So Golgi is kind of a sorting hub where several protein products are sorted to be delivered to a specific location. And just like in a warehouse where many delivery trucks are there, which are delivering the protein, delivering the product to specific locations of the city, in Golgi as well, there are sorting hubs that ensures a specific protein product, either it's secreted or maybe delivered to lysosome or maybe delivered to mitochondria. Now the question is how exactly the address of where the product is going to be delivered is determined inside the Golgi. Definitely there should be on the product there should be an address tag right and we would look at what is the address tag on the protein. So the address tag in the protein is basically a oligosaccharide tag or a N-linked glycosylation tag which starts in ER and the glycosylation or process of tagging is also continuing in the Golgi apparatus as well. Now in the Golgi apparatus this tag is formed in a sequential manner where several residues are added and several residues are uh, chopped off like mannose is chopped off galactose is added n acetyl glucosamine is added etc and at the trans golgi this oligosaccharide n linked glycosylation tag is ready and it is it, it it's displayed on the surface of the protein that need to be delivered one kind of special tag which allow the protein to be delivered to the ribos to the lysosome is mannose 6 phosphate tag tag and phosphotransferase enzyme put a phosphate group on the mannose residues and this mannose 6 phosphate is the tag or the signal by which the sorting mechanism knows that it these particular products are going to be delivered to the lysosome and not any other location inside the cell now there are specific receptors which sort out this protein from other known as mannose 6 phosphate receptor present in the membrane of the trans Golgi network and the mannose 6 phosphate receptor and the mannose 6 phosphate tag interaction happens at a pH around 6 to 6.5. This is important because we will look at later how this interaction change and this protein is released into the lysosome. Once mannose 6 phosphate receptor and mannose 6 phosphate tag interacts with each other, several triskelion molecules attaches to it and a clathrin coat is assembled onto them and clathrin mediated uh, coat formation and thereby delivery of those clathrin coated vesicles happen to the lysosome. In the lysosome they fuse with the lysosomal membrane delivering its content that means the hydrolase or lysosomal enzymes into the lysosome. Now inside the lysosome the pH is acidic around 4 or 3 because there are specific proton pumps onto the lysosomal membrane which continuously pumps proton inside. As a result the inside of the lysosome is pretty acidic. As a result the interaction between the tag the M6 mannose 6 phosphate tag and the mannose 6 phosphate receptor is disintegrated and the hydrolase enzyme is released inside the lysosome. This particular process also <coughs> ensures that 
the protein does not interact with MANO6 phosphate receptor again because these MANO6 phosphate receptors are actually uh, transferred back onto the trans Golgi network in a retrograde fashion. Now, if these interaction happens, then the protein would be transferred back pro from which it came from. Two things ensure that this back propagation does not happen. One is the acidic pH inside the Golgi, and second, there are specific enzymes which chops off this mannose residue, this uh, phosphate uh, residue. As a result, it cannot interact with the MANO6 phosphate receptor and the protein cannot be delivered back to the transcology network but the receptors does and this kind of process sorting out and putting it into specific location is very important because if the transport is improper or the tagging process is improper then lysosomal storage disorder could occur where specific unwanted protein products are getting accumulated in the ripe, uh, lysosome but cannot be degraded because the hydrolase enzymes are not properly reaching the lysosome and that's why lysosome cannot function optimally. So that is why proper sorting out of the proteins in the transgology network and delivering it into its distant location is very important for the cell. I hope you enjoy this video and hope this video was informative enough. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.